Here in Owasso, the numbers have jumped significantly, and that's why people who have already lived here say they wanted to start a business here. Yay! Business owner Sharon Reed calls Owasso home. Almost six years, okay. and it has changed. She started Drop Zone for Kids. It's drop off childcare for growing families where some sleep, others smile, some color, all have fun. Last June's when we opened, and of course, it takes any new business for, you know, for a little while to get the word out and advertise and things like that, but now we are super busy. Drop Zone for Kids, this is Heather Lee. Can I help you? I opened a business myself, and it was a lifesaver. It's busy partly because the town itself is growing. I actually lived here 10 years ago, and when we moved back, it was like, wow. Census numbers show that Owasso went from more than 18,000 people in 2000 to nearly 29,000 in 2010. Broken Arrow grew as well. From about 75,000 people to more than 98,000. We were anticipating those kind of numbers, actually. Mayor Mike Lester credits the 32% increase on the city offering more business at home. Shopping opportunities that really 10 years ago wasn't in Broken Arrow. The residents would go to Tulsa for their restaurants, for their shopping. I know. For this Owasso business owner, we have new clients every day. A growing city means growing success. To see the census numbers in your city, you can log on to KJRH.com. Reporting from Owasso, Beth Hawkins, 2 News works for you.